This is the first of a series of video tutorials to assist you with making a soccer scoring application. We are going to be using the video sensing block so that you can move the ball around with your hand. The goal would be to get that soccer ball into the net. You can see that I've shared a link for you beneath this video. And this link already has two sprites ready to go. So I have a soccer ball and a net that I drew. You want to make sure that the soccer ball sprite is selected, and this is where we'll be going to be, or we will be adding our code. So to start, we do need those video sensing blocks. So we need to go down to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen and click on Add Extension, click on the video sensing, and now you can see you have all of your video sensing blocks, and you can also see me now because my video sensing is turned on. To begin our code, we're going to click on Events and grab the When the Green Flag is Clicked block. We also need to go to Control and grab a Forever block because it's forever going to be checking to see if it detects motion, and if it does, it will move the ball. Inside of that forever block, you're going to go to control again and select the if then block and snap it inside of the forever block. Because we're going to be checking to see if there's video sensing, and if the video sensing motion is greater than a certain value, then we know that it's detecting that motion. And so we need a comparison operator for that. So click on operators, we're going to grab the greater than sign and snap it into the conditional area of the if statement. I'm going to change that number to 10. Now you can play around with that number, but 10 I've experimented with seems to work the best for detecting motion. On the bottom, you're going to click on video sensing and we're going to click on the video motion on sprite. I'm going to make my code a little smaller so you can see it. So now inside of the if it's going to check if the video motion detected is greater than 10. And if it is, then we want it to do something. And what we want it to do is point in the direction of uh, the sprite. Um, so we're going to do that now. So under motion, we're going to select the point and direction block. Now inside, rather than pointing in direction 90 degrees or to the right, we're going to go to video sensing and grab that same block that we grabbed earlier called video motion on sprite but we don't want to leave it as motion. Make sure in the pull down menu, you change it to direction. If you leave it as motion, you'll end up with the ball in the top right hand corner there. So if it does detect motion, we want it to point in the direction of um, the sprite and we would also like it to move a little bit. So we're going to go to motion and grab the move. We're gonna move five steps. You can experiment again with that number. Five is just a nice number to move the ball just a little bit. The other thing we want it to do is if it's on the edge, like the edge of your screen, we want it to bounce. Otherwise, your ball will end up stuck in a corner somewhere. So we're ready to test this program out. I'm going to click on the green flag to run it. And you can see that my shoulder moved it a little, so you can use different uh, body parts. Some students use their heads or their feet. I'm going to use my hand to get it into the net. So that's the first video. Um, there's going to be a number of other videos to make this more and more challenging. You can detect whether the soccer ball is in the net. You can add a score. You can do it with a certain um, amount of time allotted. And then afterwards, my hope is that you will use all these new skills that you've learned in creating this application to create something really cool and add your own creative elements as well as your own ideas and challenge yourselves.